All right, everybody, please, please welcome Rebecca Sachs. Ten years of marriage is a long time not to know. People tell me all the time, you must have known. You just didn't want to know. The truth is, I had no idea. And why should I? I was in love with the man of my dreams and the father of my children. I believed that the foundation of a healthy marriage was trust. There is no one on the planet I trusted more than my husband. In 10 years, I never so much as found a napkin with somebody's name written on it, an illicit email, an inappropriate text message, an open web browser. You can imagine that what I was going to find out was a shock. We were lying in bed, staring into each other's eyes when my husband started to shake uncontrollably. I stared at him in silence while he shook for about 10 minutes. He realized in that moment he could no longer live with his lies. That was the beginning of a staggered disclosure that left me learning bits and pieces of the truth. My husband was a sex addict, and I had no idea for 10 years. For me, finding out felt like I was living my life in a cloud where nothing I knew was real. I felt like my entire life had been a lie. Even though I was surrounded by friends and family for support, I felt alone. I would go to the park and put a huge smile on my face and pretend like everything was fine, but inside I felt broken and ashamed. At the time, I believed that something was wrong with me. I believed that it was all my fault. If only I had been thinner or prettier or nicer, maybe my husband would never have cheated on me. The thoughts in my head were brutal. Maybe if you hadn't put on all that weight, you should never have let yourself go. Maybe if you hadn't been so angry, I'm standing in front of you today because I've been able to break free of those brutal thoughts, break free of the hatred I had towards my husband, but more importantly, the hatred I felt towards myself. And the reason I broke free of that was not by being fake or pretending like everything was fine. It was by having the courage to feel my difficult emotions, the courage to grieve the life that I thought I had the life that came to an end, the courage to break the shame of this disease and speak out, ask for real support for the first time in my life. For me, I was forced to look into the mirror and make a decision about whether or not I was worth it, whether or not I was worth fighting for. And in that decision to choose myself, I discovered the resilience I had inside. For the first time in my life, I took risks. I tried new things. I was willing to fall down and get back up again, like being brave enough to get on this stage and be vulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> what I found was a beautiful bright light inside, yearning to be treasured and the courage to share that light. For me, that was the key to forgiveness. That was the key to my liberation from the past because I realized that my husband's disease was not about me. Millions of people suffer. <laughs> Millions of people are suffering from this disease. It is so hard to break free from the shame and the silence. And I'm standing here to share my story, to tell you there is hope. And that hope comes from the simple realization that this disease is not about you. If you are suffering, 
you are not alone. My name is Rebecca Sachs. I'm a therapist and a healer, a mom, a friend, a wife. Thank you for listening to my story. That is bravery, and that is what Ignite Denver is all about. Give her one more hand. That was amazing.